Hey guys, welcome to the Gaza Performance Garage. My name is Mr. Gaza, and today I'm going to do some crazy ass mods to my E39 BMW. Some may not like it. Some may think it's a great idea because not much variety in wheels are in 5x120. So we are going to modify the lug patterns with these spacer adapters or wheel adapters to 5x114.3. Oh boy, this is going to be such a hot topic. Also, we're going to do a awesome cold start on the Lexus SC400. We have not shined a light a Mr. Lex in a long time and is much deserved. The Lexus is doing good. Everything has been done to it. Uh, I'm just waiting for enough subscribers so I can do a 2JZ swap or I can do the mighty Ford Barra 4.0 swap in my Lexus SC400. That is also another topic a lot of you guys would like to 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 see if you think the Ford Barra motor is not right for the Lexus SC400 hit a comment on the comment section below and let me know too many people have the 2JZ swap for the Lexus SC400 that's rather boring if I'm wrong, please let me know. Every Jack Daniels has a 2JZ, but nobody has a Ford Barra 4.0 swap in their Lexus. The Australians call it the Mighty Barra. So please, let's get on with the show and please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can see all the greatest videos coming from the Gaza Performance Garage. Let's go work! Okay guys, we're here at the car. Let me just give you a walk around. It's parked up really, really, really close to the E39. All the nice little things we got in this garage fits so well. Alright, and now let's go ahead and give you that nice cold start from the Lexus SC400. I'm going to put this camera down, okay? Okay, let's see. All right. Guys, let me give you a better angle. All right, there we go. With a push of a button, I shall start my car.
we're gonna pull up, pull it out the garage very gently. Such a beautiful car. I encourage you guys out there that don't have a Supra, a Toyota Supra, get yourself a Lexus SC400 or a 300. These cars are so incredible. Once you get used to driving these cars, you will never see the quality in a Toyota Supra when you get in this after getting used to an SC300 and a 400. See guys, the SC400 has phenomenal power. This 4 liter V8 is potent and it's deadly like a venomous snake. This is my SC400 with the Gaza Performance Garage and I approve this car. And I'm going to give it the kiss of the Gaza Performance Garage. And another note, to let you guys know, anything that you achieve, anything that you get in life, it's not by you, but by the grace of God. And I just want you to know this, because this car was not given to me by me. It was given to me by the grace of God. And this is why this car is powerful. And it is the best. And I want you guys to understand the secret to my success with the Gaza Performance Garage. Here you can see guys, we have the basic tools that we need for this job. Okay, I got tons of lugs for these uh, 5x114 uh, lug pattern wheels. We'll be doing only one side to show you how it would look because I currently have just two wheels the other two are up in the attic I'm gonna have to get those out of the uh, the box because they're just totally brand new so all in all I got two sets of these beautiful wheels magnificent circuit performing or uh, circuit performance wheels CP32s can't go wrong I love these wheels I love them they're wicked get yourself a pair for your SC 400 I mean a set for your SC 400 and you'll be looking like this beautiful all right guys what let's go ahead and get to work in uh, removing the wheels and uh, we will add the uh, wheel adapters and see how it look hey 
guys, thank you. Thank you for viewing this channel. Please show some love. Smash that subscribe button. I want you to smash it like you mean it. Bam! That was just being a little extra. All right, guys, let me get to work, okay? I'll show you how you're gonna have to do this because there's a couple steps that you may have to do and a couple things you need to modify just to make that wheels, wheel adapter work. Every nut, every bolt has a hundred foot pounds of torque for each wheel on the uh, BMW E39. Uh, this is a wheel lock, that's why I have a special socket here for it. Okay. Make sure when you have your garage nice make sure it's clean a clean garage is a safe one always remember that see if you have things in the way you can have slip trips and falls and you can hurt yourself that's safety safety is first okay let's get this wheel up away Shake them down 
so long. You need to apply pressure to keep it in. So I'm doing this, pushing in, holding it in because I don't want to break the uh, the treads on here. Actually, hold the pattern. on my clean floor. That is why you gotta have a clean floor. You can sit down on the floor with your clean clothes and not get dirty. This is going to be really interesting guys. Because I really don't know the outcome and the looks of these wheels. But they look like they're going to be very aggressive and I love aggressiveness. Be sure to comment in the comment section below, guys. Let me know how you think it looks. All right? Your feedback is so important to me than anything else. Because I really like creating content that you guys would like to know. And thank you for the guys that have asked me questions on how to repair things. I really appreciate that. Remember, hand tight. You're not going to use any impact wrench on any of these. A lot of people, just a tip here, a lot of people use anti-seize on these uh, lug nuts. But what I do is I use the machine oil that I use in my uh, impact wrenches and my impact guns. I use that machine oil and it works just great. It lasts forever. Now I'm going to rock this wheel and make sure it's seated. As you can see, move it. And I'm going to seat every one of these properly. spacer right there it's not even a spacer it's a wheel adapter these size of wheels belong to the rear of the car which has a very aggressive offset for the front you will need a plus 35 offset okay, there were slight for the uh, front one. wheels which because makes it tucked in a little bit more 18 by 10 and a half were really really aggressive it could not because of the uh, the plus 
actually it is a plus 21 rim this here is the one that was on my Lexus which is an 18 by 9 with a uh, plus 25 so it fits perfectly look at that oh man beautiful there you guys have it there are ways you can put any wheel on any car the right way to do it is use a torque torque wrench on there you're not going to use an impact gun electric or ear powered. What a beautiful setup. I like it. It showcased the uh, rotors really well on this car. This is, this is, I would say mildly aggressive. It's perfect. So these are the wheels that I have up in the attic, which is what I'm going to use so I can put it on the other side and look what we have here we have Miss Lexus with the 18 by 10 and a half in the rear so beautiful it's like they were made for the car Beautiful. All right, I'm going to bring the car back in the garage. Rain is about to fall, and I'll give you the startup on this car. Welcome back. Hey, this is Mr. Gaza. Listen, today was a good day for a lot of mods. And uh, I would say very crazy mods. Uh, I know a lot of people would not agree with what I just did, especially the uh, European community with the BMWs. But let's just face it, there are more wheel styles available now in the 5x1 14.3 rim, rim lock pattern. Um, BMW wheels are really super stupid, ridiculous expensive. There's no need for that. And um, there are high quality wheels that you can find in 5x1 14.3 that basically surpasses the quality of the 5x1 20 wheels for the BMWs. Don't take my word for it. This is just my opinion. And I do apologize if I piss anybody off about my statement a while ago. It's just my honest opinion. Okay guys, listen. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, this really good channel, 
please go to the link go down below and hit that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell and be a member of the Gaza Performance Garage team. A lot of good things are coming our way. And as I spoke about before earlier on into the introduction of this uh, video, we are really working towards either a 2JZ swap with the SC400 or the Ford Barra 4.0 turbo. All right, for either the BMW or the Lexus SC400. With that says, guys, thank you very much for watching my video. Want you to always be safe out there, and make sure anywhere you're working on your car, make sure you, it's clean. Floor is clean. Everything is out of the way because slip, trips, and falls do happen. Thanks again for joining me. You have a wonderful day. We love you.